What up you guys, Steph, back with another video. Most men don't understand sacrifice when it comes to life or women, or I would say life and women, right? And this comes from, you know, the guy who comment on the distraction video, because when I was reading his, it, it was relatable, you know, because he said he deals with it at work. Uh, a lot of guys call him an incel. Um, you know, G-A-Y, I would say, uh, oh, you're a misogynist, uh, you have, uh, you, you, you lack an understanding of life, and it's like, you know, no, he doesn't, he just understands that, you know, like, I only have is just his job, I don't know whether he's living with his parents or not, um, he has very little, but he does want the things in life. He does. I'm pretty sure he does want to have fun, you know, date. I'm pretty sure he wants to have a family later on in life. But he has he understands the thing of I cannot do that right now because I have very little. But in order way to turn something bigger, I got to put the work in. Right. And, you know, you're going to get this from a lot of guys, especially like women, not so much, you know, women say that to dudes who, you know, are living a great life, but they're mad because, you know, they're not doing, you're, they're not giving them that time of day. But, you know, this comes from a lot of men uh, who are married, who, who did sacrifice, but it's just they're stuck and they don't like the outcome of the results. Like I said, I've dealt with that, too. Um, at my old job, like a lot of these, um, I would call them blue pill dudes who would tell you, oh man, you need to be, you need to be married. You need to be going to school. You need to be having a family and all this other stuff. Okay. Only bringing home what? 400, $500 every week that, you know what I'm saying? I, that, that, that doesn't, doesn't, that doesn't do enough, you know, because as you know, the woman you have to, you are responsible for. Um, the bills, you know, and there'd be a lot of other surprises, you know, that's why they say save money for a rainy day. And I'm going to say it too. Any man who has kids, bro, they can agree with me. Yo, a, ch a child costs a lot. And when you're making very little, you know, a lot of men um, struggle with that, right? You know, I, like I don't knock guys for wanting to have families, but like this, honestly, the things I've been saying, do it the right way, you know, get everything in line first. And I always say like this, life is not perfect, but it's like you always want to have everything in line or at least work towards that goal. But when you do it early, you know, the partying, um, getting the women pregnant and all that other stuff man it's it's a lot to do with you like i'm i'm talking to a homie who does who has a girlfriend and they living together he still feels the pressure he still feels and he works like two jobs but this is why i talk about you know you know sacrifice you know, you know what i'm saying i'm pretty sure his girlfriend appreciates that but most men don't have that you know what I'm saying that's why the dude who comment i give him the most props He's sacrificing a lot of fun. I'm pretty sure he's in his early 20s or whatever. He's sacrificing a whole lot of fun. And I probably would say women just to, for a better life. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, sometimes it bites you doing that. That's a whole nother video I'm going to save that for. But you got to understand, like, you know what? Let me learn from these people and just do things the right way. You know, do things my way. That's what, that's how I was. That's what I was doing too. When I went flat broke really badly, I hit rock bottom, bro, and you know, I a switch told me, "Yo, you got to do something right now." So, what it did cost me a lot of the checks earlier on. Um, you know, not going out partying as much, trying to figure out something that you love to do, not just do the regular college thing cuz sometimes that doesn't even work itself. But it takes a lot of time, man. You know, that's why I'm always in this room right here, always creating videos, making videos, call, call the comments, no matter how many times y'all um, try to ridicule me about it. But it's like some men get it and there's a lot of men who don't. And the guys who don't, those are the ones who try to tell you to join us. You know what I'm saying? But 
on the outside, they, it may seem smooth, but when they in their house, man, they probably mad, upset. They probably still thinking, man, I should have did this before I had a child and this, that, and the third. That's why those type of guys, myself personally, I didn't listen to that. I was hard headed enough not to listen to that, you know, and, and I'm probably going to get some some pushback from uh, guys doing that, too. But that's just how it is. You know, there's going to be those lonely nights where you grind until like 2 a.m. in the morning. I did that two nights ago. I was making videos and I was just writing out. Um, I'm, I'm going to say it like this. I'm writing out a book right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, eh, whatever. I got the keyboard. I got the iPhone. You know, let's just see what happens. You know, those are things like that. Also, too, I'm editing pictures for, you know, Instagram on my modeling, you know, or I'm like, you know, we've been working out at night to get my body right. You know what I'm saying? Those are things like that. People could uh, disrespect me and say all these nasty things, but, you know, that's the lane I chose. Like I always say it like this, you know, if you want to make it ahead in life, you got to make certain choices. The partying and the women, um, gossiping with the friends or whatever, or, you know, you're just going to have to just, you know, just go down that lonely path, man, until... The things that you want are finally working out for you. You know what I'm saying? Because shout out to Vlad. And I always thought like this, too. I'm always thinking of ahead 10 years from now, 20 years, 30 years from now. Because it's it's not smooth when you're 50s and you still got to work two jobs. Though. You still burnt out and tired. You know what I'm saying? Like me personally, I'm, I'm all about sacrificing, like leaving the females alone and you know, being in California, what I'm seeing a lot of dudes who, man, I want to get back in shape. I'm gaining weight. I go out and drink and party. But you you going out drinking and, you know, going on uh, meaningless dates with women, you know, just to just to get some booty, man. You know, you are. Is your rent being paid on time or. Or are you still burning money or is it that you want to do better in life? You know, that's why I say sometimes you just got to leave the women alone. And there's there's some women out there. I'm going to say this for myself who do like me, but it's like I'm going to have to leave it alone. Like this one beautiful girl yesterday, man, not a cute face. Thick, you know, she's not she's not the best look. I mean, yeah, she, she's kind of cute, but, you know, giving me the. The eyes and everything, but I was just like, yo, I'm focused on this workout because I understand, you know, it's dating a woman is, you know, it takes up your time. You know, some men go, oh, man, she got to respect my time. She got to understand this. That that don't mean <laughs> what people say and what people do are two different things. She was not like she got a gun to your head, but, you know, you like her a lot and you like that booty, man. You going to be just hanging with her, getting comfortable with her all this freaking time. And a lot of guys do that. That's what I'm seeing a lot of dudes do. Like when I was talking to one homie, man, he was just focusing on getting his business started. And then now things took a turn. Got a girlfriend, working a regular job. And it's going to hit him at a certain point. Like, dang, where am I going wrong in life? Because why you lack focus of getting your business started, you know? But he said it he's happy with his girl and i you know not not most men are built like me or like the dude in the comment section that's perfectly fine i don't sit up here and judge guys who go out party and chase chicks like a bad thing i mean that's what you want to do that's fine but i understand what happens when you do that because i had a glimpse of doing that and it burned me early on in life, but I understood like, yo, I gotta like leave that alone right now to win. You know what I'm saying? To win. Like, you know, guys, when I talk about sacrifice, you gonna have to sacrifice your love life sometimes just to write out a book. You know what I'm saying? Writing a book or even type one up, man, it could take about a year and a half. Jotting ideas, depends how long you want the pages. You know, um, YouTube, it's going to might take you like two years just to finally get a base. But it what does that take? It takes a lot of actions required. You cannot date a female and do that. You know what I'm saying? Some men can, but me personally, when you want them, when you're a one man army, man, it's hard. That's why I just, that's why I always talk about sacrifice, man. That's all I got to say, man. I'm out.